Okay, so I would like to show you a JavaScript, which is actually um, a countdown timer. So my intention was I have a Django application. So I want to log out the user after a specific n minutes of time. Okay, so n minutes of time, the the user will be logged out. So this is going to be the front end of it. So I will make another video explaining how you can log out a user after a specific amount of time okay so uh the when coming to the front end uh, you can of course make a javascript countdown but this is actually using lo uh, local storage so in the case of local storage you you are not um the the timer won't reset in other cases you would just simply uh refresh the web browser or this tab and the timer will get reset but in the case of local storage it will continue where it has left off so that is the importance of local storage in javascript it is actually an api provided by browsers so you can make use of that okay so i have i have in, in this case i'm going to store um, countdown timer as my key so in the local storage we actually store things in a key and value pair so in the case um, in this case i'm going to store the set item means i'm going to store it so um, in this case this is going to be the key and this is going to be the value okay so it is actually um storing in a key value pair fashion and when you want to retrieve the same you will say get item and the key okay so use the key to get the value that's it um so in this case i'm going to set the timer to 60 times 0 0.2 that's going to be 12 seconds um, but you can adjust the seconds in order to get the uh, actual minutes and hours uh, but, uh, and uh, I will provide the code in the link uh, in the code link in the description um, so uh, I will quickly explain what this does but this is actually self-explanatory so I'm not going to dive in depth now uh, you would need parsint in order to um, get the integer actual integer value without the form uh, varying about the uh, format maybe maybe it might be string or float but we 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 have to have in the um integer okay so that's why we use parsent and um, if the the time is less than uh, 10 then you would need this zero uh, on the left side because um that's how you do it because from from then on you will be dealing with only one number so that's why you need that zero at the uh, left side so we append that zero and if the timer is um obviously the minutes is less than uh, 10 then then also you don't need um you, then only i mean at that time also you are dealing with just one digit so you would need this zero at the left side so moving on we have uh, just printing the time Firstly, we will check if the countdown timer key is actually active in the browser. So if the key is active, then we can then um, retrieve it. Uh, and then, then we can uh, get the item. But uh, else in that, in the other case, we will set the countdown timer. Okay, so uh, in other case, uh, in the, in coming to the local storage, I have something um, which I've set. So let's say the timer is now zero. Okay, less than or equal to zero. Then what should happen? So that is what I have what I have specified here. So let me comment out this in order to understand what this actually does. So I have just commented out, and I'm going to refresh. This is going to be the file. So I'm going to refresh this. So it is going to start from uh, uh, 11 seconds, and it is going to end up in zero seconds. okay so when you refresh the page now it is still going to stop there because it is the actual value stored in the uh, local storage is zero so you have to either manually delete it or you have to uh, delete it from the backend i mean the javascript but in this case if you go to the developers option and go to the local storage then you will see the key value pairs the key is the countdown timer and the value is zero if I go to right click and delete a uh, countdown timer and then refresh it 
then the value is no longer stored in the browser and it will start from the top section second again so uh, it is not possible to for us to be actually uh, you know continue from um continue by doing this okay so that's why we use um, this local storage dot, dot clear so whenever the timer gets to zero i want this to clear out i want the timer uh, to actually the local storage must be cleared when the time gets to zero so that's what i have defined there so let's let me refresh the screen again okay it has it is still on the zero side um local storage dot okay okay let me refresh it again so it is now starting from the 12th again but if you don't do that uh, as i as i said you have to come to the developer section and clear the uh, local storage that we don't want that so when i refresh now uh, it is now going to again start from 12 because we have the clear uh, we are deleting the key as soon as the value gets to zero because if you don't have this uh, in the, the local storage will be still have the value of zero and it will remember that so no longer it, it does not matter you restart the browser or not um, it is still going to be there so either you have to manually come here and delete the key and value but uh, if you cannot do that, then um, right now we don't have the value, right? Because as soon as the value hits to zero, then we are deleting it. But if, if that's not the case, we have to come here and manually delete it. So that's it. Uh, this is how you set the make a simple, uh, dead simple JavaScript countdown timer using local storage. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I will provide the link in the description for the code. Uh, that's it. Thank you all for watching.